guys. right now is the most unoriginal content stealing fake just in it for the money youtuber you could possibly find if you've heard of this man before it'll be for his several attempts to contact celebrities from beyond the grave multiple videos uploaded to youtube within hours of them dying Last year, tragedy brought him the spotlight once again, as word spread that his girlfriend Alexia had been run off the road and killed in an automobile accident. However, it very quickly transpired she wasn't dead after all, and he admitted he made the whole thing up for attention, views, and money. Well, you probably tuned him out after this, and who could blame you? His was some of the most poorly made and repetitive content you'll find for a channel his size. Everything was ridiculously fake, and yet his fan base genuinely believed it wasn't. At the same time, he was a serial plagiarist who stole the majority of the videos he'd called his own. Think of some of the things your least favorite YouTuber might have caught some shit for in the past. False flagging, false pedophile allegations, doxing, deplatforming, a trip to a Japanese suicide forest. Well, this man has done all of those things. Plenty of things that are far worse than what you may have already heard about him. In the next few videos, we'll show you everything he's done. From the minor to the major. From the slightly embarrassing to the very definition of evil. For despite his criminal mentality, he remains a source of great inspiration for those that watched him. They've been copying and pasting all that he's been doing. And in some cases, he literally told them to do it. Step-by-step -step guides to occult rituals that have resulted in self-harm. Tutorials to access the dark web that they claim to have followed to the letter. They'll name a slave for him as he promises to resurrect their dead parents for algorithmic benefits. He's been doing it all for purely mercenary reasons, for money has always been his first and last motivation. He scammed his subscribers out of it when he didn't have it, and threw it in their face when he did, both figuratively and literally. This is a man that can tell basic right from wrong, and has simply no desire to. This is a man that cannot tell time and yet claims he's recorded his footage at a very specific time of day. This man is an unironic devil worshipper that truly believes if he prays to the devil at night, he will be rewarded with fame and fortune. This man is JayStation, the worst YouTuber of all time. Perhaps you've heard of him. Oh my god! Okay, 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 guys, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. Ah! Do you like JayStation? <laughs> yeah. I'm JayStation, is like one of, is like my most favorite YouTuber ever. And I'm one of his subscribers, because he is the best. If you're JayStation and you're watching this, you're the best. Leave a like for JayStation here.
is the best. I'm obsessed with JayStation. I'm a JayStation fan. With my favorite YouTuber. Shout out to Jay. I'm JayStation. I want to be the new JayStation. Then you'll learn from JayStation's, from JayStation's inspirement. At a time when JayStation is causing fewer controversies than the public has grown accustomed to, he was dealt a major setback as YouTube wiped out two of his three largest channels. Many people wanted him banned long ago, and some have been advocating for it. But was it the right decision? After all, many will claim to be offended by just about everything he does and would love to see him canceled for it. On the other hand, some claim JayStation is based. That he embraces his role as community heel and provocateur, making prolific amounts of content rooted in satire and self-awareness. Jay Station himself has not taken his recent punishment well. He's been on an angry rampage, both behind the scenes and in public, lashing out at those who've criticized him in the past and blaming them for YouTube's decision. Mudahar, known on YouTube as Some Ordinary Gamers, was one such target. If I ever see him, I'm gonna smash your fucking shit ass teeth all up it bro listen how could your teeth get any more fuck wait until i fucking see you wait until i fucking see you if i want to find out where the fuck I, uh, you live i'll do it today bro you fucking fool you fucking dirty ass fool take a look at what he's been doing to keemstar a youtuber who's been critical of jstation in the past jstation tweeted out his home address Twice. It's super important people don't know where I live. Breaking controversial YouTuber JayStation has been terminated. JayStation responded by tweeting out my address. What? And then he tweeted out my address again, like just last night. Keemstar's been swatted over 50 times in the past few weeks. Police have also received calls claiming a man named Daniel Keem was at his local McDonald's and shooting at people with a big gun. Someone has been using a voice changer and rotating their phone numbers through an app in order to try and provoke an armed response by his local police. Why not test out some voice changers at 3 a.m.? Child Protective Services wasted an entire afternoon looking for imaginary children that Killer Keemstar was apparently keeping in his basement. Keemstar's extended family have been receiving disturbing text messages from someone claiming to be Jay Station's thug, threatening his 10-year-old daughter at 3 a.m. I got your baby and I'm gonna hurt her. I'm gonna hurt your baby, Bloody Mary. I'm gonna murder her. Whoever it was that was threatening and harassing Keemstar's family eventually couldn't help themselves but reveal it was tied to JayStation. JayStation is the only one dumb enough to actually do this. We'll show you evidence that it's a pattern of behavior consistent with everything JayStation has been doing the past few years. Jay is very, very vengeful. Like, if he does not like someone, even in the slightest bit, he will go to the end of the earth to ruin their life. This guy basically tried ruining my life. Look how much of a sociopath this guy is. Look how much of a sociopath this guy is. He legit threatened to murder me and my friend. Stop hopping on my live streams threatening me that you're gonna kill me. This is not something to joke around with people. I actually know him. This guy is a dangerous individual. He'll also just be very scary and very angry and unpredictable. I kept blocking him, everything like that. He kept harassing me. I was waiting for the police to do something about it. I go. Hold on. Uh, he will blackmail anybody, and you guys should be aware. I love you so much, and I just hope that the dick tastes good. Dick and Based on his violent history, I've decided to get a restraining order. I had to move. His tactics revolve around terrorizing his would-be critics into submission. He'll obtain private information and use it to threaten their family members. Jay here been ringing our bell at 3 in the morning, which I don't appreciate, right? Yeah, how about you? Oh, my dad. Now you're gonna come to my house and like... Just delete it and then okay, that's okay. it. Okay. The guy threatens his ex-girlfriend with revenge porn to keep her quiet. Not cool. What would you do if I paid your, your ex-boyfriend 10 G's? He'll attempt to de-platform his YouTube buddies. Apply that he'll hire a contract killer. Settle a petty argument. And all that's just the tip of the iceberg, folks.
To get the full picture, you'll need to watch over 1,100 JStation videos, a process that'll take you no less than 449 hours. Oh, that's 18 straight days. You'll be watching 24 hours a day with no breaks. We're getting to the bottom of it. We're digging up the truth. Before we'd even released the video, JStation was threatening us with lawsuits, promising to make false copyright claims, and attempting to dox us. At one point, changing his Twitter banner to an image of the person closest to me. He responded to our very polite request for an interview with a little threat, when all we'd posted was a teaser. Now why would this footage of a beautiful sunset make that guy nervous? If I saw a clown right now, guys, I would definitely die. Originally, we'd intended to make a few videos just poking fun at JayStation's ridiculous antics. A tone that you'll notice is still prevalent in some of what you're about to watch. But the deeper we dug, the darker it became. And at the very bottom, we discovered a genuine psychopath. A man utterly beyond redemption. And a YouTuber we believe should remain dead and buried, never to be resurrected again. Take Kermit the Frog to represent JayStation's content as a whole, something he's aimed at a younger audience and stolen from something someone else made popular. Like Alexia's bottom lip, 99% of everything JayStation uploads is filler. He does not care about making creative content that people want to enjoy. He just cares about getting views and getting money. Consider it a kind of fast food that's been mass produced on a daily basis, in which everything had been undercooked, unseasoned, and would regularly give you food poisoning. <laughs> Each video was its own little car wreck of poorly edited jump scares, far too many jump cuts, and things he'd forgotten to cut altogether. That's one of the that's one of the most crazy stuff. That song has given me so many scary moments, guys. Like literally, right after this song plays, normally. Like, literally, guys. He would regularly struggle to complete basic human tasks. We can't figure out how to use this. A thousand videos later, and he's still yet to learn how to even hold a camera properly, or to read and write beyond the level of a six-year-old. Spiraling chasms, hellish sing posts, a block of iron. You need to talk properly on YouTube, guys. You just need to, like, be 100% in your right mind when you're filming videos. Some paranormal stuff are trying to kill me, guys. Let's get it. I go. Yeah. Go. There's some freaking haunted stuff happening. The Chucky dolls are happening. Holy shit. I go, they're coming, they're coming for me! Every single day we film, right? And we, we film from like, uh, as soon as the sun sets till the sun rise. Then I gave him the idea to like, block out the window so it looks like nighttime. So that, that was my idea. A, you have zero sleep and B, there's a guy like yelling at you. A guy yes. yelling at you, telling you that you're doing everything wrong, making you redo shit because you're doing everything wrong. Like he's blowing up on you every five seconds and that, that, that shit's exhausting. Wake up! I didn't know exactly what I was doing, what I was getting myself into, like you guys said, and like I've said myself already, I was a paid actor. I was paid to show up and be an on-screen personality for a YouTube channel. That's how I saw it. He wouldn't pay me directly, but we would eat together and he'd pay for like dinners, breakfast, l lunch, or whatever. Like we'd probably eat like once a day, all right? And sometimes so like I- So paying you to work breakfast. on his content with food? <laughs> I was a 17 year old kid and you know what he actually made me do? He made me drink the gay potion. Deep down I did not want to do it. And out of fear of how much influence this guy had, I was like, I have to do it. I did it. If I say no to him at any moment, like he'll he'll get mad and I could never have that, right? If I say no to this guy, if I'm like, okay, no, I'm not doing this video, he will just fire me in an instant and then find someone else. Like if I didn't do exactly what he said, he would just get so mad. He'll get so angry, he'll like break something, he'll hit his cat. He he actually threw his camera one time on the couch and then it bounced back on my forehead. My forehead started bleeding. When you're 
doing these rituals and these three AM summonings all the time, right? All the time. And yeah, maybe you're thinking, okay, it's not real. We're just doing this. We're faking it. It's all fake. <laughs> It, it probably does have uh, an effect on, on someone. What's up guys? We are here with a 3 a.m. challenge to open this cookie monster. My and eyes it's 3 a.m. Guys, I'm really afraid of monsters, especially at 3 a.m. So we got him out of the pack right now, guys. Here he is, okay? He comes with his own cookie, okay? This is crazy. Today I'm actually going to get Jay Station to drink the gay potion with his friend Jay. Okay, I'm really scared. I'm so scared, guys. I feel kind of like tingly. Yeah, I feel so tingly. Look at me, of course I'm gay. Come on, Dave. Hey, guys. What do you think is the most pretty color that I can wear? I don't know, I feel like, whoa, what are you doing? It's a brush, bro, relax. I already know, Jay. Okay, okay. Stop being so naughty, okay? Okay. Oh, he gay. This type of garbage is what he called another 3 a.m. challenge. Usually, the biggest challenge is to finish watching one. He'll pretend to have a seizure as he messes around with a Ouija board until it summons the most demonic publicly available green screen assets. He'll travel to various haunted locations and claim to see and hear things that were never actually there. Oh! Bro, there's somebody in here. Did you hear that? It sounded like a pig. I swear I heard something sound like a pig and then that noise. I just heard a thud. Right before that, dude, it sounded like a pig. Yes, I wonder where the pig is. Okay, Google, say something else. Hi, how can I help? <gasps> oh, shit, guys. I think I killed Google, guys. <laughs> Holy shit, guys. It's so unbelievably fake and bad. He should be ashamed of himself. He puts zero effort into his videos. At least if you're gonna fake something, fake it good, bro. How does nobody call him out for this, guys? This is the fakest channel on YouTube. And yet over six million people genuinely believed it wasn't. I'm not gonna go through all of his videos because every single one of his videos is as cringy and as fake as the ones I'm gonna show you. Nothing he's doing is particularly convincing or difficult to do for yourself. He puts in fake noises, he puts in fake dolls and fake shadows and stuff like that. The whole thing is fake. Yeah, all of it's fake. Every, everything we did was fake. <laughs> Look, bro. Did you ever use uh, fishing line and light switches to fake some of the videos you made with Jay? Oh yeah, all the time. <laughs> he used fake blood and peel-on tattoos to simulate real injuries. Your face look like it hurts. Oh, I go. That freaking stings, yo. Be careful. What do you got? Holy. He'd buy costumes and props from places like Party City and Spirit Halloween. This is a shrunken head, bro. You think this is real? Some fishing line tied around furniture could make it look like ghosts were knocking over his stuff. What the fuck? Whoa, whoa! Sometimes a third party would need to flip the lights on and off while he filmed. It's the very top breaker. Other times he needed someone to dress up like a copyrighted character and chase him around the house. Or FaceTime him on his phone. No way, guys, it's Mickey Mouse. It's me, Mickey Mouse. <laughs> what the heck? Oh my God, guys, it's Mickey Mouse. Wow, guys, Mickey, are you mad at me? Well, yeah. Mickey, do you like cats? I'm a mouse, I do Whoa. not like cats. Whoa. Mickey. <laughs> what? Oh my God, God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, look at this symbol right there, guys. What the hell is that? Oh my god. I'm not I'm not trying to like overreact for YouTube views. Oh How does content of this quality, content that's so obviously fake, manage to attract a fan base of over six million subscribers? Well the answer is so absurd, you ironically have to see it for yourself just to believe it. JayStation's fan base genuinely assumed everything he was doing was real. I think like there's a lot of people who do 
who do think it was real. They, they thought it was real. They thought this is, this is actually happening. A lot of them were young, like young kids, right? So when they're watching these videos, some of them think it's real. Any of you who say I'm fucking fake, just stop that shit. They want to unsub, bro. Stop calling Jay Station fake, okay? I've had enough of it. You're being really irritating. Jay Station is not fake. Jay Station is not fake. Jay Station is not fake! Jay Station 3 a.m. is real, you guys. Let's believe in it, okay? What age do you think the average viewers were? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Anywhere from like probably six to eight. Yeah, six to nine. I, I don't really appreciate you talking shit about me to my fans. Please, you ask, no fans. Please ask him for my autograph. Oh, man. The young kids who are delusional about. Oh. You <laughs> oh, you Bro, your fucking fans are nine, and they're just too fucking stupid, I guess. They'd considered him some form of wizard, one that could levitate, turn himself on fire, talk with the dead, and conjure spirits. A man that was able to perform an exorcism on an inanimate object or an animal, like that mysterious pig. For example, someone that had somehow managed to get himself possessed by some kind of satanic whopper meal. I'm honestly freaking out, dude. We have to, like, maybe it's been around 30 minutes. I don't know how long has it been that we've been. Oh, 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 oh my god! 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 If his videos were still up today, you'd be able to look through the comment section, like we did, and see that they were riddled with fans who believed everything that he said and did. For example, you'd be hard pressed to find a single comment questioning how Mickey Mouse could attack him through an iPhone. Oh my god, guys, smash the like button right now! Oh my god, he's attacking me! Oh my god, guys, what the heck? What the heck? Oh my god, guys. But since this video no longer exists, Take a look at the brain damage in real time on one of his fake paranormal live streams that had all been pre-recorded. Nobody in the chat has yet figured out what a YouTube premiere is. Nobody seemed skeptical when JayStation found someone's severed foot. However, they did express genuine concern when it appeared he'd been murdered by an axe-wielding maniac. He hosted a live stream last night. I was in that live stream. I got a question. Is Jay Station dead? Possibly could have died. Jay Station may be dead. Hope he's not dead. Guys, he might be a vegetable. He might be in a freaking wheelchair for the rest of his life. I don't know what's gonna happen. If you manage to get a hold of one of his old videos, take a shot for every time he says the word, guys, what the hell, or oh my god. This game looks extremely well. What the hell? What in the hell? What the hell? What in the hell is that, guys? What in the hell is this, guys? What the hell? What in the hell, guys? What in the hell? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my freaking god. Oh my freaking god. Oh my freaking god. Oh my freaking god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my freaking god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Guys, that is crazy. That's crazy. That is freaking crazy, guys. Oh my god. This is crazy. This is freaking crazy. This is crazy. Oh my god. That is crazy. What in the hell, guys? I don't even know what I say most often, okay? Uh, how about what's popping, guys? Let's get it. What's popping, guys? Popping J Nation! What's popping, guys? What's popping? What's popping? What's popping, guys? What's popping, J Nation? It's your boy J Station here. I'm not really the J Station. Let's get it. It's still me. I'm just pretending. Let's Let's get go! Let's get Zay Station! Zay Station will copy anything he sees or hears. Set up a collab and watch the drama unfold. Guys! 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 Guys!
He's always on the lookout for more of his own kind to see who copies him. We got a bird. We got a freaking bird. What is popping, guys? Let's get it. What's popping, guys? Let's get it. Why do I sound gay, man? What's popping, guys? Let's get it. Popping, guys? Let's get it. I sound gay and drunk at the same time. Let's get it! Say Station offers hours upon hours of guys, bros, and what the hell? What the hell? What the hell? Bro, 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 what the hell? Over and over and over and over and over, okay? Peace, guys. Say Station. I actually took his thing when he said, what's popping? And I just wanted to let him know that I am very sorry and ask if I can use it. But it's not just JayStation's fan base that are imitating him. More opportunistic YouTubers attempt to grow their channels by emulating his more controversial content. Take what has made him perhaps most infamous, contacting celebrities just a few hours after they died. He'd sought to take advantage of anyone who'd been a fan of musicians XXX Tentacion and Mac Miller. Right now, guys, we're gonna use the Ouija board to contact XXX Tentacion. Smash the like button right now, guys. Let's hit 100k for X. It is so sad he passed away so young. Bang that bell button right now for more Ouija board videos, guys. We might even try to contact Tupac. For anyone who knows about my history with this guy, I have uh, previously objected to his content because he basically makes videos where he pretends to speak to friends of mine who have passed away. It's like, as of right now, Mac Miller has been deceased for, I guess, about 24, maybe 30 hours. Today we actually got a memorial set up of Mac Miller. This is really kind of fucking me up in the head right now, I'm not gonna lie. Every like on this video is a prayer for Mac Miller, his friends, or his family. Let's try oh no! Are you fucking serious? <laughs> that was so much worse than I actually thought it was gonna be. And the end of this video really, really stood out to me as something really disturbing. Ariana Grande appeared on my freaking TV out of nowhere. When he pretended that the TV was glitching and showing clips of Ariana Grande as if to almost say like it was her fault or something. Does she have anything to do with this? A lot of people are saying this is her fault. Yeah, maybe he is trying to tell us something. Jesus. What a fucking asshole. Doing the most disrespectful shit imaginable. Adam 22 is in fact a pedophile, a disgusting human being to say the least. Ariana Grande, who was once in a relationship with Mac Miller, had to deal with a lot of trolling from people who blamed her for his death. The more famous the person, the greater the controversy, and the more attention J Station would receive. Etika recently killed himself and it's been a really tough situation for a lot of people on the internet. J Station's capitalizing on it for views as he's done numerous times in the past. Whenever anything gets a lot of attention. Edika, come on, answer. There'll always be others who want that attention for themselves. Everyone keeps on tagging me and I'm J Station on Twitter saying I dare you to do a 3 a.m. video on Edika, all right, guys? They're probably tweeting at you to not make the video. No one asked you to do that and you know that no one asked you to do that. In this video, I'm going to be calling Kobe Bryant at 3 a.m. Calling Kobe Bryant at 3 a.m. Yes, guys, 3 a.m. I'm super scared for doing this, guys, because literally it is almost currently 3 a.m. I made the whole 3 a.m. trend, guys. No, he didn't. We actually did the work to prove this. We took every piece of his content and cross-referenced it against other channels and then compared the dates. And today, we can prove that over 59% of everything he ever uploaded was directly stolen from someone else who had found success with it first. And there's probably a lot more. We're talking characters, titles, thumbnails, even this 3 a.m. font that he'd plastered all over them was a direct ripoff. He could have branded this series in any number of ways that would have made it a little more unique to him. I invented this font for the Garbage Pail Kids in 1985. And this is when it's so easy. Just pick another font, pick another glowing thing. Like there's so many different spooky ways for people to make text and letters. <laughs> Same goes for costumes, for even given there are an infinite number of clown outfits out there, he'll still decide to purchase the same exact one from the video he's stealing. He'll steal from anyone, even a child, downloading a kid's Fortnite gameplay and then reacting to it as if it were his own, praising himself even as he watches it. I'm just gonna murk like every single player in this goddamn game, guys. Like, I'm pro at this. Get on my level, son. When JayStation got caught, 
Did he A, admit that he's a thief, B, tell the boy to kill himself, C, flex his YouTube views, or D, claim that Fortnite owns the video? All of the above. It's E. Where's E? All of the above. I'm telling you, it's all of the above. Here's that exact message. And here's another one just like it. That's the kind of run-in he has with strangers that's been reported over and over. And given the violent nature of his threats that he delights in using, which people who know him believe are credible, many stories like this will never be told. Any chance like that one to viciously attack a person far smaller than his own size in private is a little opportunity that psycho cannot resist. And lucky for him, Whenever these authentically psychotic tendencies happen to align with the make-believe premise he's just stolen, the thumbnail and the video proved irresistible to millions of YouTube viewers. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh, I cut him open. This weird dissection of Santa's least fortunate little helper was JayStation's most successful upload of all time. Before YouTube deleted it, his holiday autopsy special had been served up to over 13 million viewers. A very successful operation for Dr. J Station. But you'll be very interested to learn that it was uploaded just three days after this one. And it's not exactly a coincidence. Okay, well, let's look at Jay Station's thumbnail. Okay, well, he's got the doll laid out with duct tape on the table. He put a question mark in the center. Let's do the exact same thing that he did. He's copied the video exactly from the very beginning to the very end. Like the exact same stuff happens, guys. What is up, guys? What is up, guys? Tonight, we are going to attempt to open up an elf on the shelf. Tonight, we are cutting open the haunted elf on the shelf. We recently had an elf on the shelf delivered to our house. This elf on the shelf was hand delivered to me. It's absolutely crazy. Definitely something really crazy going on. I do have graphics behind the camera helping me out for tonight's video. What's good, guys? He's on the camera right now. What's poppin', Stromedy? Yo, what's going on, guys? We're gonna find out what kind of things we can find inside an elf on the shelf. We're gonna be finding out exactly what's inside an elf on the shelf. And with all this being said, guys, let's see what the elf on the shelf has in store for us tonight. With all that being said, J Nation, let's... We are ready to enter the basement. I hate going in the basement, guys. The box. Dude, that's the box. There's the box. Oh, okay. Like, look, it was like clawing at the edges and stuff. Dude, it's all destroyed. You see him? Yo, look, no he's, way. he's he's right up there. Are you okay? <coughs> Dude, he freaking attacked you! Dude! It's so strong, bro. He's strong! You you tossed it somewhere over there. Oh my god, you threw him over there? No, 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 you do it, bro. I just got you go get him. What do you want me to do? We're gonna go upstairs and we're gonna cut this guy open. Okay, let's just take him upstairs and cut oh him God. open. Okay, let's go. That's crazy. Well, sometimes I would just go to his house and you would already have what we're doing. He would watch all these guys all the time and he'll like play it on the TV and he's like, okay, this is the video we're doing. And I'm like, okay, all right, sounds good. First, J Station did the intro. Then, J Station went and got the doll. Then, J Station duct taped him on the table. Then, the doll moves. Then, J Station takes this stolen formula and repurposes it for the next few months. Virtually the same exact video re uploaded. Over and 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 did I mention this guy's even selling 3 a.m. merch, guys? In that, in that, you know, that's nice. We were not surprised to find out that J Station is stealing his merch as well. Look how beautiful. The very same shirts that he's selling at the time of this recording. Isn't that gorgeous? The original artist had no idea that J Station had taken his art and started selling it. Big problems with the last merch. Tanks. But this merch, we got it all down pat. It's like a tent. It was all too easy to reach out to the artist and legally purchase the rights to his designs. Pay for your art. So now we can sell the J Station merch and he can't. I got a brand new company and this stuff will actually get there quick, guys. So 
make sure you guys go get that merch. Can't be creative enough to make your own original ideas on YouTube? Well, maybe you shouldn't be a YouTuber then, okay? JayStation is the only YouTuber we know of that will steal someone else's video idea and then preemptively call that same person out for stealing the very thing he'd literally just stolen from them. This guy just wants to be me like so much, guys. Seriously, guys, if we look at his very first video on YouTube, okay? Duct tape challenge gone wrong, okay? Who do you get that from? I literally did a duct tape challenge right before this video, guys. Pretty obvious that my video came out first. He copied and pasted the year of my video and put it onto his just to try and make it seem like he posted a video before me. He'd made multiple exposed videos attacking YouTubers Jester, Aldo's World, and Luxury Dark, claiming they'd all been robbing him of his ideas. But when we cross-referenced the dates on all the many videos he claimed had been stolen from him, we discovered that it was entirely the other way around, and he'd been tricking and manipulating his fans into thinking he'd uploaded them first, telling them to unsubscribe and to start watching his channel instead. Do not watch Jester. Jester. I unsubscribe them. I go to Jay Stations and I see that you been copying him. I'm not dumb. I'm gonna report you. I had to call out Jester and Jay Hills for certain reasons because of Jay Station, because of what they did. Jay, my favorite YouTuber, and if you do something to him, I'm gonna have something to say about it. I'm gonna make a whole damn video about it, guys. But when somebody takes credit for a video that's not theirs, and then attacks somebody else, accusing them of stealing that from them? No. <laughs> that's just too low, Jay. Even for you, that's just too low. So don't be stealing my swag trying to get famous like me, all right? You're not me. Find your own style, okay? Your career is done now. He ended up actually reposting my video, and then he even took it one step further to copyright strike my own video. It's definitely not cool to copyright strike the video. You cannot copyright strike a video. Whilst you were working with JayStation, did you ever see him plagiarize content directly from other YouTubers? Oh, he, he, oh, he does that all the time. But yeah, like he said, he would just show his video, put the videos up on the TV, and be like, this is what we're doing. Mostly Jester, I think. Yeah, all those worlds. That's one of them, too. Talk about unoriginality, guys. This is just like plain out stealing. Even his first ever 3 a.m. challenge had simply been something he just watched on someone else's channel. He'd purchased yet another stuffed Sesame Street character and then claimed it was trying to kill him. He opens it up puts his toenails into it, waterboards it under a tap, and then repeatedly stabs it in a bathtub. I'm gonna drown it. Ah! Ah! All you gotta do is take any kind of doll, cut it open, put your DNA in it. I just pricked myself. You gotta mix it with other DNA. I put like DNA on my own stuff in these friggin' mannequins before, guys. All right, guys, let's turn it over. Cut her open and put in a DNA. Now imagine you've just uploaded a video that got far more views than you were accustomed to getting. You've just got to put your own DNA into a doll or a mannequin, a boiled egg, and millions of people will tune in to watch this particular little egg. Oh, look at him getting all nice and pretty for Easter here. Over the next few months, he replicates this concept over and over again. Different doll, but same bathtub. Each upload has barely deviated from the last. Tag your ring, boy. We got the Hello Barbie right now, guys. I'm so freaking excited. Okay. We also bought this Elsa doll's head. We're gonna put it in our bed. This for real toy, like this roaring tiger, to see if we can get that little boy to come and play with us, come and hang out. All right, guys. We're gonna name this baby <laughs> Sakela. Lucy, Lucy, we're gonna cut you open. Fill you with our insides, put our DNA inside you. I think he was probably fucking him, to be honest. No idea what he'd hoped to achieve with this, but I guess it's certainly one way to get your DNA into a doll. Thing is, he has been using every bodily fluid that was available to him, and it's now getting to a point in which he's running out of DNA to physically put into things. He's also clearly running out of ideas, and the videos start to get even weirder. In this video, he's injecting his blood into a carton of eggs to do what no scientist will ever achieve. Mutate a chicken fetus and hatch a hedgehog. I got my DNA, we have an egg. It's time to create Sonic.exe. Let's go out, 
Buy a hamster, dip it in something that looks like toilet cleaner, claim it's in fact a hedgehog called Sonic, and then drop it. I wish I could say that this was the most insane video he'd ever made, but it's actually quite tame by comparison, and these 3am challenges would only get increasingly more deranged. I don't even know what you're doing really, dude. Bro, like the UV light, you don't know what that is? No, not really, dude. Have you ever seen like the hotel videos of how people use like that UV light and they scan it on walls and mattresses and it shows stains? What is that thing, dude? It's a UV light, bro. Look, it shows everything. Dude, it's Michael Jackson! No way, bro! No it's way! Jackson. No freaking way! It started with Jay putting me inside of him, then pulling me out of his stomach. It evolved from that to French kissing and then to kissing other parts of the body. JayStation would like it if you... if you would like be spread open. That's what he likes. To be able to look inside you. And then he would masturbate. Important question, Wesley. Uh, did you ever walk in on JayStation having sexual intercourse with Kermit the Frog? What? What? I swear to God! What happened? Bro, look at... No what? way! Dude! Bro, 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 you see this? I think I see it. I don't, I'm not sure. I am not... What no! The you watch out! No! What the hell? Yes, it was quite the aquarium we had here. Now, this is actually not a toy. It's a real frog. A live animal that JayStation has once again purchased from a pet store just to stuff up Kermit's felt asshole. What is this weird obsession he has with putting animals into tight places? A frog into a puppet? A hamster trapped in Tupperware? A rat slowly suffocating to death in a Wellington boot? One beast in particular had caught our attention, this little black cat. It had appeared in several JayStation videos and then one day, all of a sudden just seemed to disappear, never to be seen again. In fact, one of JayStation's closest collaborators is claiming he witnessed him abuse it and almost beat it to death. Guys, my freaking cat is terrified right now. We're all terrified right now. What just happened? I don't know what happened, guys. He had a thing for hitting his cat. It was weird. Like, that's how I knew he, the guy was bipolar. Because at one moment, he'd be like, Oh my god, I love my cat. I love him so much. And all of a sudden, he's just like, he screams at it. He hits it. Like, what the hell else happened? I'm Jay Station, you used to have a cat. Now that is true. That cat is still missing today. We don't know what happened to that cat. Do you think there's a, there's a chance, there's a possibility that he may have killed that cat? Let's get this dead cat and I'll be right back. The content regularly escalates and snowballs into madness. After Kermit's C-section, it had seemed to evolve from attempting to create life within puppets to performing little abortions on them. He'd started pulling all sorts of shit out of everything. A sonic plushie was tied up and surgically operated on. Inside, he finds the mutilated head of a Tails doll, along with a cat's tail bone. That may or may not explain the mystery of the one that went missing. We're gonna be cut them open with these. Oh, this boy side. don't try to run. Oh, oh, my oh, my oh my god! Oh my god, dude! Oh my god! 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 I just nicked my finger on some scissors. My finger's about to fall off. It's like purple right now. There is very little that is safe from JayStation and a pair of scissors. With one exception, of course, being his hair. He'll otherwise happily cut into anything and anyone. Even himself. This is going in you! You freaking hear me? Oh! Oh, bro! I think that's his ribs! 
just pull out his wrist? Oh, his intestines, guys! All right, guys, I just woke up, and right after we chopped off my evil twin's head, it literally called me like 10 minutes later. Oh, oh my, oh my God, God, bro! His fans had loved the video and were eager to try it out for themselves. This young man in a red cap is currently recording himself in a public bathroom. And if you listen carefully, you might just be able to hear the sound of a wet crap currently being produced in one of the toilet stalls a mere six feet away. There's my evil twin right there. Look at that. My evil twin. Wow. I'm gonna cut you open, evil twin. I'm gonna cut you open. Gotta be careful in the mirror in the mirror world, guys. Perhaps a mirror world was some kind of crap analogy. But to this day, J Station's content is still being reflected in those that watched him. They mirror his behavior, his little mannerisms, everything he does. And sometimes it all ends in genuine tragedy. We can't show you most of what we found, but there were tens of thousands of little copy-pasting mice that wanted nothing more but to step into his boots. It's 3 a.m. and we not lying. Always 3 a.m. I have no idea why. What? Challenge. Back with another 3am video. I'm gonna be doing a 3am challenge. 3am challenge! We try to do 3am challenges, but we just can't wake up in the middle of the night. We love you J Station. Bye! 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 Bye!
Yeah, he's a little bit off his rails. What's up guys, back with another one. As you tell by the title, yes, today I'm gonna sell my soul to the devil for fame and fortune, guys. And I know what you're thinking. Jay, you already sold your soul, man. You got over a million subs, you got a bank full of money, you got fans, everything, okay? Yes, that's true. To tell you the truth, guys, I have a crazy story involving such a thing. So if you wanna hear the story about when I sold my soul before, let me know, guys. Let's hit 20,000 likes and I'll make it happen, okay? Okay. I'm not gonna lie, I did try it before. He filmed a video where he appeared to sell his soul to the devil, and the contract that he wrote and signed in blood appears to have come true. He got the things that he traded. Okay, so he did kind of say it then. He did that like a long time ago. I think he just like redid it for views maybe, something like that, just to like get attention. That's the only thing I could think of. I'm just gonna go ahead and sign this thing, guys, because like I said, I feel the presence already. So he re he restaged something that he had done a long time ago in real life, not on video. Yeah. Like I seriously want this to work, or I I, I don't want to sell my soul to see. Basically, but I did. Basically, I don't know what to say right now without sounding completely or like an idiot. Okay, guys. What he wished for was like to do well on YouTube for views. Or to what was it that one or was it fame and fortune? Something like that. The 3 a.m. trend is sort of dying, guys. It's sort of sizzling off. I don't get a million views a video anymore. So today's the day, guys. I'm selling my soul. Why hide it, guys? When he told you about uh, selling his soul to the devil, like what was the context of that? Was he telling you like that he was actually afraid of the repercussions of it, or was he bragging about it, or? He said that you got what you wanted. The signs of Jay Station's inverted view of right and wrong and demon worship are everywhere. In fact, they've always been right out in the open. He got 666 tattooed on his arm. He named his channel 666. He calls his viewers the demon, demon gang. gang. I'm Jay Station. What's up, my demons? How the devil are you? What's up, my demons? You're gonna steal from me now, Jay already like cursed by like every demon on earth and i really don't got nothing much to lose okay guys every spiritual taboo and superstition he violated intentionally he reads from occult scriptures he recites incantations and ancient curses and puts hexes on himself and other people on and on as much as you and i might dismiss every bit of that as horror nonsense and camp he did prove effective at controlling his audience and people he knew in real life through fear and lies he told me that Everybody doesn't like and subscribe that he's gonna come for them next! But what I find threatening, and what scares me, is that there's truth to what Jay Station says here. I'm an influencer, so my goal is to influence everyone. My goal is to influence you. He's so persuasive. Yeah, I'm persuasive. That's exactly why I'm gonna be successful in my life. So what has he done? Stop resisting! I gotta knock him out! Ugh. Wait, I freaking knocked him out, guys. So I have to cut him open. Thus far, we've learned Jay Station's demographic. Both he and his employee have confirmed they know it too. We've seen and heard from countless members of his audience, and there are only more to come. So think about this. What is the real legacy of a man whose greatest hits involve binding a smaller, helpless creature to a table and performing a biopsy on its guts while it struggles and screams. Yeah, he's gone. Using scissors and knives to open up something that's alive just for curiosity's sake and fun. Oh, 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 oh. I think he died, guys. Oh. I'm gonna make sure that it doesn't get tough. Oh my god. Gotta cut her open, bro. What is it? What game is that? What is he preparing his audience for? Her legs, her body is out of her dress. Just gonna set her up right here and cut her open, guys. One, two, three, go. One, two, three. Oh. Why would he use his influence in that way? I'm gonna cut her open right now. I got a saw in here, guys. I'm gonna cut her open. I even got it all over the carpet, guys. Look at this. It's not coming out. It won't come out. I tried. I used hot water, everything. It's not coming out. As we saw, the creator of 
serial killer Sesame Street can't be trusted around animals, let alone a large and impressionable audience. The next step is to take a knife, and I've got a beautiful knife right here, guys. Oh my god, that looks freaking sharp. We're gonna have to put some DNA inside of the doll. So we're gonna actually use this to stab the doll three times. And now the ritual has officially started, guys. Okay, let's get out of here. This looks crazy. And if you don't fucking like it, your kids are gonna like it, bro. Some of the most popular YouTubers, including ones we've covered on this channel before, have messages baked into their content that can spoil an innocent soul. That the best pursuit in life, oh my god, you're so rich, is to get as rich and famous as he can as quickly as possible. Buy only luxury items. Flex your success on less fortunate people. Secure the bag at any cost. And to embrace materialism to the point of vulgarity. Bedazzled and stuff. Diamonds. Mm. Louis Vuitton Rubik's. Louis Vuitton. This is my new bag, silver and gold, because it also matches my Cartier watch. Don't just have a presence on social media, grind on it. There's so much more out there for me Keep to- Keep chasing bigger numbers, do whatever it takes to get more attention. <laughs> it's not like I might not be making money in two years. Looking back at last year, and we're laughing at that money. We're laughing at last year's money. We're looking at those digits saying, that's funny. If we just keep grinding and make our way to the top, next year, he's gonna be looking back at this year, laughing. If he just keeps his foot on the gas, if we just keep doing this show. To have it all, they'll tell you to do things. Preventative Botox. Mystery boxes. Others could say, some, like Jesus, might say, involves selling your soul. Metaphor. J-Station promotes that same message, except he teaches his audience to literally sell their soul. You're gonna need a bottle of salt, guys. You're also gonna need candles, guys. You're also gonna need a red writing utensil, guys. What's up, guys? J-Station and... Today we are um, uh, summoning the Lamborghini at 3 no, a.m. J-Station, wake up. I know you don't have a soul. He signed the contract with his own blood. Why would you think I need that? Use a pen. So there you have it, the very first person to document themselves selling their soul at three o'clock. Anyway, it was legally binding, so I gave him what he asked. In part two of this series, we'll see what extremes Jay Station is willing to go to to get fame and money, and what he'll do once he has it. This story isn't over, and it gets a lot worse. All of my skills came from the devil. I made a deal with the devil. Okay. This is This is no way to write a... It's not sanitary. Indeed. Trading your soul for fame and fortune with a blood oath is one unhygienic and costly exchange. Whereas I will offer you no less than five dirtier deals that can be done dirt cheap. Number one, subscribe to Colossal is Crazy and enjoy perhaps the gnarliest commentary channel on YouTube while it still exists. The bots have already found it. Two, new shirts at nerd.city including the former J-Station merch that we have legally made our own. Three, four degenerates, including clown and nerd, have begun to belch out regular podcast content. Subscribe to TVH on YouTube, iTunes, Xvideos, DeviantArt, the motherless, wherever it is they're keeping their file. Unfortunately, the tryhards are coming back again too. And this time, instead of researching big butts on Instagram or slapping them onto merch, our own resident idiots have been diving into the buttholes and butt coins of the tokenized asset community. They're clearing a path through the good and the bad with their typical messy educational enemas. I think artistic talent is worth something, and I've been an advocate for supporting artists in the past. But money can also bring out the worst in people and be an incentive to make bad art. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. The recent trend of commodifying digital assets on top of a speculative cryptocurrency has been accompanied by people acting irrationally angry or suspiciously happy. We've seen mind-boggling valuations of objectively low-effort art and collages of stock 3D assets. Those high prices are meant to get attention, both for the underlying tokens and the people who own them. And in response to that, there have been strong opinions coming from credible and persuasive people. NFTs are a pure scam. On the one side, you'll find a lot of salesmen 
people who made their fortunes as early adopters of technology saying get in and buy now because this is the biggest opportunity of your lifetime. It's the biggest technology that's ever happened in the history of life outside of things like fucking fire and like the printing press is the one that I keep going back to. Meanwhile, others focus on the failures and the limitations of the technology as well as their dim view on humanity in general. Getting rich is all that matters. They don't care about the average artist. The dystopian possibilities now seem glaringly obvious and the worst type of projects remain the easiest ones to find. But. What else does the public deserve to know? What's outside of the spotlight that's redeemable and being done with integrity? We're taking a balanced and critical, but ultimately constructive approach towards the current problems of tokenized collectibles. The goal is to figure out what can be done better, or at the very least, to demonstrate some ways these trends can move in a more positive direction. To say all NFTs are equally harmful for the environment would be a lie. We're going to share an inside view of a lot of different types of experimental projects. Some are by us, and some are made by others. Many of them are free, and are collectibles that you get just for paying close attention to our videos or for being in the right place at the right time. Some of them aren't free, and we're going to do our best to make them useful and unexpected and something that people can enjoy. I think whether they work or not, it's going to be an interesting series. So. To get the party started, here's the first digital trading card of yours truly, which features my own commemorative rat tail that you were given far too brief of a chance to admire in this very video. The whole set will include less notable people than me and be given away free by Nerd City. These clean collectibles will reside off the main net and on an L2 to save the earth from evil crypto. These concepts are tricky, so if you have no idea what any of that meant, I invite you to stop by our Discord and ask some questions. The community at discord.gg slash dap is working together to keep it a welcoming place for education. Our doors are open to people from every background and all walks of life, including creative, easily distracted adults who like to learn and who never really grew up. What's that? sponsored this video and he paid us in burgers. He pledged two Mr. Beast burgers per day until we finish our series of collaborations. Well, he doesn't realize what a mistake he's made because we'll work on this video forever. Thank you, Mr. Beast, for the lifetime supply of hamburgers. That's a whopping five things to do, but all the links are listed and pinned below. So smash like, subscribe, hit the bell, and leave this tab open so you don't have to memorize the whole list. Number one, subscribe to Clown. Two, check out the new merch, nerd.sit. Three, to be honest, they would pick you up. Four, to learn more about the tryhards experiments, discord.gg slash dap or deadavatars.com. Everyone has a skull, but which one is yours? Five, eat a Mr. Beast Burger.